Hello and welcome. In this problem, we're going to look at the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So in all of these cases, what it's saying is we're taking 6 and multiplying it by the sum of 3a and 4b. So here, in all of these cases, we're doing that. So only in one of them are we doing it correctly. Which one is that? Well, here, if we look at choice 2, that's correct. How do I know that? Well, we're distributing the 6 to 3a. 6 times 3a is 18 a's. 6 times 4 b's is 24 b's. So there we're multiplying the 6 by the 3 a and distributing it also to the 4 b. We're distributing or multiplying 6 to both terms over addition. Um, in the other problems here in choice 3, they're just changing the order of the two terms that we're multiplying. That would be an example of the commutative property of multiplication. Here in choice 1, they only partially distributed. They multiplied 6 by 3a and got 18a, but not by 4b. They made a mistake there. So these are not equal. Uh, I guess depending on the values of a and b, of course, but in general, they're not equal. And here, uh, we're also using the commutative property. We're changing the order of these two terms. 3a to 4b is becoming 4b to 3a. These are both examples of the commutative property, but here they're interested in the distributive property. Thanks.